Hello friends, welcome back to the Chickadee Knitting Club. My name is Caitlin and today I'm excited to be teaching you the rib stitch. I believe in you. If you've mastered the knit stitch and the purl stitch, there's no reason why you shouldn't also be able to master the rib stitch. So let's get started. All right, let's learn the rib stitch. There are some people who will tell you that you need to cast on an even number of stitches to do the rib stitch. It's quite an easy trick to remember too, because there are an even number of rib bones in your body. Casting on an even number of stitches will help you remember when to knit and when to purl when you're doing the rib stitch. But at the end of the day, the number of stitches you cast on really doesn't matter. What matters is being able to read the row of stitches that you had done before. Being able to read fabric is an excellent skill for knitters, and I'll show you how to do that in our rib stitch tutorial today. For the rib stitch, all you have to do is knit a stitch, then purl a stitch, knit a stitch, purl a stitch, knit a stitch, purl a stitch, all the way down your row. So let's do that. We're gonna start with the long tail behind the needle. So you're gonna take your other needle and knit one stitch. And you're gonna move the yarn over so that it's in the front of your needles so that you can then purl a stitch. Move the yarn over and knit a stitch. Move the yarn over and purl a stitch. And do that all the way down your needle. If you cast on an even number of stitches, your last two stitches will be a knit and a purl. Ta-da! There's your first row of rib stitch. And you can already start to see that when you were doing the knit stitch, the bump ended in the back of the needle. And when you're doing the purl stitch, the bump ended in the front. And you'll see that back and forth across your needle. Another interesting thing is that there will be a little V wherever you did the knit stitch. Learning these little characteristics of stitches and having the eye to see them is what's known as reading the fabric that I was talking about. Now we're gonna turn the needle over, swap hands, and we're gonna do it all over again. If you cast it on an even number of stitches, you're gonna start the next row with a knit stitch. But if you cast it on an odd number of stitches, you're gonna start it with a purl stitch. Kind of confusing, right? This is why I wanted to teach you how to read the fabric so you would know when to knit and when to purl. This is what it looks like when you work the rib stitch for a few rows. As you can see, the bumps are all on top of each other, and so are the Vs. And it kind of makes these stretchy little rows and ribs, which is why it's called the rib stitch. The point of the rib stitch is that no matter which stitch you're doing, the bump always ends on the same side of the needle as the one before it. Let's try that out. As you can see, the bump of the first stitch lands behind the needle. Do you remember what stitch ends with the bump landing behind the needle? The knit stitch, right! So we're going to start with a knit stitch. Let's look at the next stitch. You can see the bump ends in front of the needle. Do you remember what stitch ends with the bump in front of the needle? The purl stitch, that's right. So we're gonna move our yarn in front of the needles and do a purl stitch. 
And from there, you continue working the knit stitch and a purl stitch over and over until you have as many rows of rib stitch as your heart desires. Let's practice reading the fabric one more time. Look at the next stitch. It's a little tricky to see in this light, but can you tell where the bump lands? You're right, it lands in front of the needle. So that means that we're going to do a purl stitch. And this next one, can you tell where the bump lands? There it is, behind the needle. So that means that we have to do a knit stitch. And last but not least, we're gonna make one last purl stitch. And if you feel comfortable and confident reading the fabric and knowing when to knit and purl, you have mastered the rib stitch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a helpful tutorial to teach you the rib stitch. If you have any questions or need any help or advice, feel free to comment under this video's post on the Chickadee Knitting Club Instagram page. Tune in next time when we will be mixing things up a little more with the seed stitch. I'll see you then.